Hello, so today we're gonna do lab 4 volume. So lab 4 volume, so here we're dealing with memory and this will really help you do the problem sets. This is one of the hardest problem sets in all uh, the CS50 course, recover. So this will be key for you to understand how to solve that problem, uh, recover. So the idea is pretty simple, we're giving an input dot wave file so this is an audio file that's gonna be represented as a bunch of bytes so we haven't dealt with bytes yet in the course and what he wants us to do is to from this input file to write to an output file and make the the volume of the audio louder and then brian on the video does a great job of explaining how to do and actually helps us a lot on the steps we need to do. So this is a byte file. So, uh, and it has a header. The header will have 44 bytes and this 44 is given to us in the boilerplate code. So we have 44 bytes. This is just information about the dot uh, wave file. Then after we're done with the header, so we get the header, we write the header to the output, then we do a loop where we, for each sample, so sample is kind of like an audio unit. According to the problem statement, if you re uh, read uh, thoroughly, you see that the sample, uh, audio sample has two bytes, a two byte sample. So we basically read two bytes every single time using a loop. We're going to multiply that sample by the number that was given to us, this factor, and then we're going to write to the output file. So once we multiply, that will give us the uh, increasing sound and you can actually test it. Uh, I'll actually show you guys. I don't know if you guys will be able to hear, but we'll actually be able to test that file, uh, that audio. So a lot of the code is given to us. Uh, so we have a header size and then he tells us that we, we can use these two types so it's u int 8t and int 16t so that's 8 bits so 8 bits equals 1 byte since byte doesn't exist in C he's asking us to uh, define this type so we can use type that so every time we say byte in the rest of the code, since we're using type that, that will tell us it's an 8-bit uh, type. And we also have a 16-bit, which is 12, uh, 16, uh, 2 bytes. So since we know that a sample audio has 2 bytes, that will help us solve the problem. Okay, so what we want to do, so a lot of this code, in order for you to understand, Go back to the lecture, especially at the end where David talks about JPEG, reading JPEGs. But what we're doing here is doing some error checking, if, checking if the number of arguments is correct. Then the F open uh, basically grabs the input file and opens it for read. This grabs the output, output file to write. And then we have a factor which we transform from a string to a float using this function atof. So we have all that done for us. So our job now is to do that to do that we, Brian, told us to do. So the first step is we know that the header has size 44. So we can create an array of bytes. Since byte is defined by us here at the top, we can use byte directly. We can create a header. How? What's the size of this array of bytes? Header size, 44. So we have an array of bytes with 44 bytes. And then we need to use fread. Fread is kind of weird in the way that uh, it's done. So I really recommend you guys take a look at the documentation. So if you go here to fread, let's see how it works. So fread uh, expects a pointer, a size, a size, and a string. So the pointer is to uh, basically this idea of a buffer. A buffer is an array. 
So this is the, the buffer is the array we just created. So this is where the data that we are reading from is gonna get stored. So this 44 bytes. Then the second argument tells us the size of the bytes we're reading. So the size, how many bytes are we reading? We're reading size of bytes, so eight bits. Uh, so each block we're reading has size byte. That's what we define here. And then how many of those bytes are we reading? That's what we put on the third argument. We are reading uh, 44, which is the header size. And finally, that's the input file. So kind of a weird notation, but get used to it because basically you have to use this on the recovery. And then to write is very similar. The only thing that changes is that instead of the input is to the output. So nothing really interesting here. We're basically just reading from the input file, the header, and out writing it to the output file. The only different thing is initializing an array of bytes, which we created over here. The more interesting part is the sample audio. So we create a sample audio uh, variable, but this variable, remember, has two bytes. So because this type int 16 has two bytes and that's how many bytes a sample audio has according to the problem. So basically we're gonna use fread. Since buffer is a variable, we need to use the ampersand operator. So from the lecture, I hope you guys remember this is for the address. So why could we send the header buffer without the ampersand? Because basically an array name is the address of the first slot of the array. So if you look at the array, so actually, so I'll show you guys. So header buffer is the same thing as this thing here, header buffer uh, plus zero, uh, this, the address of the first spot of the array. Uh, I think it's something like this, something like this. So this is equivalent to the, the uh, address of the first spot of the array. So that's why we don't need the ampersand, but since this is a variable, we need to use the ampersand. And then what's the size of the unit I'm reading, that sample audio? I'm reading one sample audio at a the time from the input. And then that's gonna get stored in this variable buffer. All we have to do is multiply buffer by the factor. So that's gonna make our audio increase. And then we write back to the output. Remember, the only thing that changes here is the uh, file we are writing to. Everything we open, we need to close. So this is given to us, we just close and that's it. So understanding this code really well is key for you to solve uh, recovery. If you want to get the code for this, check the description. Hope you guys have enjoyed the solution. Any questions put here on the description and see you guys in the next videos. Bye bye.